We all love seeing and smelling things, but my favorite sense has got to be taste. Dr. Brain is going to tell us why it's so important. Have you ever accidentally drunk a glass of sour milk? Blech! Your body has a powerful reaction right away. But why do we hate some tastes and love others? And why do we even taste at all? Well, no big surprise. What we taste is important information for our brain. Hi, I'm Dr. Brain. Okay, my real name is Crystal Dilworth, but I have a PhD in neuroscience, so it's just easier to call me Dr. Brain. So, I'm Dr. Brain. Knowing what's in our food has always been important for our survival. Our ancestors couldn't just read the ingredients on the side of the mammoth, so taste and smell is how we figured out if what we're eating is healthy or not. There are five types of taste information that your brain receives. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and a fifth taste that we call umami. A sour flavor tells us if the food is acidic. Take that expired milk. Our brain uses the unexpected sour taste in milk as a signal that something is wrong. The acid flavor is likely created by unwanted dangerous bacteria. So the brain responds to this threat by triggering disgust, telling you, don't eat this. It's bad and you might get sick. Spit it out. But this information can go both ways. The sourness of lemons is totally expected and a good sign to your brain that it contains acid associated with vitamins, like vitamin C. A salty flavor tells us if the food is, well, salty. <laughs> Salt helps us regulate and retain water in our bodies and helps nerves transmit electrical impulses. A bitter flavor is extremely important because many poisonous compounds taste bitter. I don't know about you, but my brain wants to know when we're snacking on poison. The sweet flavor we get from sugar tells us food is packed with calories. In the primitive world that our brains evolved to navigate, we walked everywhere, had to search and hunt for meals, and often had to run from predators. We needed all the energy we could get, and calorie-rich fruits and vegetables were a welcome treat. The biology of our brain hasn't had enough time to catch up with modern times, so it still thinks sugar is good for our survival. And eating sugar still makes our brain feel great, which is part of why a sugary candy bar or soda may feel right, even though we know it's not healthy. Protein is important for humans, too, and we have the ability to taste protein in our food through activation of the umami taste receptor. But our taste buds don't do it alone. Smell is a big part of our perception of taste as well. Try smelling garlic and eating an apple. Tastes gross, right? Without smell, our perception of taste would be limited to only sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. Next time you're eating something delicious, remember that your senses of taste, smell, and touch are working together trying to keep you alive. Deliciously. Bye. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.